everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Friday, October 29th of 2021 and I'm here with a day in the life vlog. I'm not calling it Vlogtober because I'm sorry guys. I fell off the Vlogtober bandwagon this last week. Yes, that's for a couple of different reasons. The main one being I had so many other projects and things going on that I just didn't really have the time or really anything to vlog so that kind of was the reason and the other big reason is I have a lot I had a lot of work to do for OVC designs and if you guys haven't heard already I did post about it yesterday and all that um, I opened up my Etsy shop for real this week OVC designs is now live on Etsy and opening day I truly didn't expect anywhere near that many sales and I was truly blown away. I was nervous about the whole thing because I was like, is anyone gonna wanna buy this stuff? But I took that big leap of faith and was like, well, I'm gonna invest this money and these resources into it and see how it does. And I truly was blown away by how many orders. I think we had like 30 plus orders come in just in the first 24 hours of the shop, which blew my mind. Like I'm so excited, so excited. So with that being said, that took the precedence over the vlog. And of course I still have my YouTube stuff, just regular YouTube stuff. So yeah, the vlog just took a back seat. And I am sorry about that, but at this point it kind of is what it is, unfortunately. But I'm back today, so better late than never. Better late than never. So anyways, um, I'm currently heading to the post office. I am shipping out, I'll put a little clip in, a little clip in or a picture or something of the basket of merch I'm taking down to the post office. I'm able to ship out some of the orders that came in yesterday, basically the things I already had in inventory. I actually had to, we ran out of wallets like in the first two hours yesterday, so I had to get some more of those. So I'm kind of working with what I have and more is just gonna keep coming in the supplies so I can put together more orders. Um, you can see if your order was shipped out, if you made one, if your order was shipped out, you can go on your Etsy little statement. You should get an email saying a shipping label was created or something, just track your package and it will tell you um, your tracking number and you can see when I sent it out and where it's at and the postal service and all that. So that is awesome. So I'm shipping out the orders that I can today and it's a lot. I think there's like 15, 10, 15 packages here. So it's a nice little dent. Um, other than that, I just need to spend today making up more inventory. Some of my supplies are coming in today that I ordered, so I'll be able to put together more orders for you guys. And any orders that are currently outstanding will be shipped out on Monday. So if you have an order outstanding and you see that it's not yet been shipped today, then it will be shipped on Monday for you guys. That's cool. I'm so excited. It has been so much fun. Um, and I'm blown away. Thank you guys. I want to thank you all from the legit bottom of my heart. Y'all showed up for me yesterday. I, like I said, I was amazed at how many people showed up, how many people were so excited about the products. And I truly am so thankful. And I think you guys are going to find such great benefit out of the products. The wallets by far, almost every single order had a wallet. Like that was the most, most popular thing was those wallets. So that was huge. Another big seller were the lists, the letter size and the mini size lists. Those were huge on you guys' um, purchases. There were a couple of onesies that sold and only one of the tote bags sold. I want to remind you guys about those tote bags. They're really, really, really nice. So I would definitely recommend checking those out if you haven't. They're really good quality and everything in the shop is currently 20% off if you use the coupon code Grand Open. So it's a win-win. And I am still going to be rolling out apparel. If you guys have been around for a little bit, you know I picked up t-shirts and hoodies and all the things. And yes, those are awesome. Um, but I just was not able to get them done by October 28th. And so a little bit of a bummer, but I just wasn't able to get it put together, but it is coming very soon. It's not going to be available on the grand opening weekend, but I will have the apparel launch in the next couple of weeks and that'll be a lot of fun as well. So awesomeness, awesomeness on the OVC designs home front. I cannot wait with business doing so well yesterday. I've decided I am going to pick up a second cutting machine just to kind of expedite the process and make it less time consuming. I think this time I'm gonna go with a silhouette. Um, 
and silhouette. I don't know. They have a portrait and a cameo. I just got to look at them in person. I tried looking online, but I just got to look at it in person and kind of see what the differences are um, because I want to get the silhouette because I already have a Cricut and I'm going to be honest, the Cricut kind of gets on my nerves. And so I've heard a lot of good things about the silhouette. So I'm thinking I could have one Cricut and one silhouette and that would be pretty good. Um, that way I wouldn't have to have like a business plan or whatever. Cause if you have two Crickets or two silhouettes, you have to pay for like a business plan. If I just have one of each, I will just get the free software for both. So that's pretty cool. If you guys have a Cricut or a silhouette, I'd love to hear what your favorite is. I'm um, like, which one you prefer, which one you think is better because it's a lot, it's a lot. But anyways, I'm down here at the post office and gonna head on in. All right, guys, I'm all done at the post office. That was so easy and so quick. Like all I had to do was scan them. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work, but I had purchased the shipping labels from Etsy. And so literally all I had to do was sit there and scan it. And it was super quick. Like 11 orders went out in like two minutes. So that was awesome. So like I said, definitely check on your Etsy and see if it was your order that was shipped. Um, if your order was not shipped today, it will be shipped out on Monday. So keep that into consideration. Anyways, I'm heading in Walmart now. I'm gonna coupon. I've not been couponing a whole lot lately. Life's just been busy, but I'm excited to come back and do some Walmart couponing today. And also look at the silhouette, crickets, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. It's actually been a good thing that I've not been out couponing as much because I find when I come out couponing, I get really good deals, but I end up getting caught up in like clearance or things and I end up buying things I probably don't need. Um, <laughs> So that's fun. But anyway, guys, yeah. But I am in the clearance right now looking. What you gonna do? Okay, so I'm in Walmart and I decided on, there are two different silhouettes. There's the cameo and there is the portrait. And the portrait seems like it would be enough. Like I said, I still have the Cricut. This is kind of just a supplement thing and it does work with eight and a half by 11. So this would be good. And I actually looked it up and it says the silhouette portrait is perfect for vinyl cuts for like t-shirts and stuff because you don't have to worry about the mat. You can just like put the um, the paper straight through, which is huge. Like not the paper, but the vinyl straight through and it would cut it. So that's really huge. The Cricut can't do that. And so I was kind of intimidated. So I'm definitely excited to try the silhouette out. They have this vinyl for pretty cheap, $3.97. I know Dollar Tree, some Dollar Trees have it. I didn't find it at Dollar Tree the last time. I will check again. But um, for now, this will work. And I want to make sure it's good quality, too. I don't know how good quality the Dollar Tree vinyl is. I want to make sure whatever I'm selling is, you know, good quality for y'all. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and pick this up today and try it out. But I'm going to grab a silhouette in addition to the Cricut. And I feel like that's going to be really, really good for me and for the business. Guys, I feel like all this vlog has been as Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. <laughs> and I'm sorry. That's just where my life's at right now. That's what's going on in my life. And... I'm so excited for it, like I really am, but that's that's what's up and yeah, it's kind of what's going on. All right, so I'm doing some couponing and then I also ended up grabbing a couple other things. So I got some packaging tape and laminating pouches and cardstock because I need all the things. So in thinking about it, I probably should have grabbed some sticker paper too, but we'll see what I can do without it. Maybe we'll save that for next time. I'm so excited to see Walmart. Well, now obviously I'm not going to buy these because I'm a couponer, but I'm so excited to see Walmart putting out all the Christmassy gift sets like... Guys, Christmas is, it is coming right up. Super excited. And then it'll be time for Vlogmas. If I actually stick with it better than I did Vlogtober. <laughs> but we'll have Vlogmas in December. Seriously, guys, how Christmassy would it be like? Yes, I can listen to this on Spotify, which I do. But like, how Christmassy would this be if I busted out a record player and played this Bing Crosby Christmas album? Like, seriously. So cool. I love how Halloween's not even over and it's already Christmas candy. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my gosh, these are these are amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so cold out. It feels like an ice box, seriously. But I wanted to show you guys, I went to the P.O. box and I got a big package from Jamie. She is so sweet. She told me she had like made me something and so I'm super excited to open it. She was one of the first, I think you were the first, Jamie. You were the first one to order from OVC Designs yesterday. Thank you so much. I'm gonna open up her package and kind of show it um, to you guys. I'm super excited. It's like a kid on Christmas morning here, like seeing what is this package? She wrapped it so nice. All right guys, so got it open. The first thing that Jamie gave me, this is so cool. This is a traveling, I think it's like a junk journal is what they call them. It's like a traveling junk journal it has all these different pages in it wow jamie you are talented whoa 
This is cool. I love this. Thank you so much, Jamie. That is so sweet. This is really cool. You ought to start your own Etsy shop. Seriously, you are like gifted. Um, and she sent some a crocodile. Oh my gosh, Jamie, I have heard of these crocodile things, and that could be of great use to me. Not exactly sure how to do it, but I bet this could be helpful. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jamie, that is so nice. Whoa, what are all these? She sent me this little bag, and it has all these, like, um, hang taggy things in it. So if I ever do a giveaway, I could like pull a number out of the bag and be like, oh, this person 054 won. So that could be a good use. And she sent me some pens from Hobby Lobby. Oh, they're water-based pens. That could be nice. That's cool. And then she also sent me some like scrapbook paper. So like, um, oh, they're falling out like this. It's cool. And she also sent me like a couple little stickers. Oh, and she sent me, oh my gosh, Jamie, I am so excited that you sent me these. She sent me these craft envelopes. And I thought I could use these for OBC designs for stuff. Like, I guarantee it. Oh my gosh, Jamie, thank you so much. You did not have to do that, but I very much appreciate it. You are, like I said, this junk journal thing, that is so awesome. You did such a good job on this thing. And if I ever go traveling, for sure, like, this thing would be so cool to have. Because there is, like, blank paper in it you can write on and stuff. So that is just, like, really, really cool. So thank you so much, Jamie, for that. I also got a couple other cards or letters. Um, I got one from Precious, and I really do apologize. I had every intention on sending y'all thank you cards but OVC Designs just kind of took over, and um, yeah. But I got some coupons from Carla. Ooh, I see a free, free product coupon in here. A free Koya plant-based shake, if I can find those. I've looked for those before, I've not been able to find them, but I hope they can find them. And then she also sent some body armor coupons, and then Precious, Precious sends coupons every single week. Um, and I got a few good ones here. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Y'all are amazing. So I'm gonna submit my rebates to Ibotta and Shopkick, and then I need to upload the haul video to the printable breakdown, the little link cards, all the things. And then I'm also going to edit this vlog, which will be good. Then I also need to work on a video for tomorrow, kind of prepare some notes and get ready for that when I get home. And then it's going to be um, kind of working on Etsy a little bit more. And I'm super excited to set up the silhouette and to, um, you know, work on more designing and cutting and all that kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Like, guys, it's truly such a surreal thing. Like, I always had this dream, basically from the time I was a preteen, kind of to now, that I was going to own a store somewhere. I wasn't sure, like, what kind of store it would be. I thought, well, maybe I'll have, like, a grocery store or a, I don't know, just some kind of store it was always a dream of mine but i kind of gave up on it i was like well this probably isn't gonna happen so let's just give up but guys my dreams actually turn into a reality like i have a store right now yeah it's an online store but there's brick and mortar potential one day at like craft shows like the mall does like craft shows you can set up by a brand of table space and set stuff up and sell it you know church has craft shows like different churches there's potential with this like this actually is turning my dream into a reality which is huge i'm so excited for that um and then also i want to work on possibly getting quickbooks today being an accounting major i'm used to, i know what quickbooks is i used quickbooks some um but i've been doing all my record keeping and stuff like manually like printing things off and keeping it in a binder and it's just it's getting a little cumbersome and so i actually think i want to look into quickbooks self-employed i've heard some other youtuber friends talk about it um they use quickbooks self-employed and so especially with the etsy i'm thinking it might be a good good call to go ahead and do quickbooks i'm gonna look at it today and kind of see if it's something i'm interested in maybe there's another um, accounting system to keep track of the expenses and the taxes because with taxes they don't withhold taxes out of our checks like youtube etsy coupons.com they don't do taxes out of the check you have to set that back and then at the end of the year or not the end of the year but when you file your 2021 taxes 
I have to put the income in there without taxes withheld, and that makes me owe um, every time. So that'll make us owe. So for that reason, I need to get my taxes together, get every deduction possible, keep every record for deductions. Like you can deduct equipment, but you have to do the depreciation and all that. So I think a good um, accounting app would really help me be able to figure that stuff out. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna run into Hotheads real quick and pick up lunch. I never come to Hotheads too much. Um, I really don't go out to eat a whole lot on my own. Like usually I'll go out with Katie once a week and then my parents will like go out after church or something, but I don't typically run through. Sometimes I'll get like dinner for me and my grandpa if everybody else is gone, but typically I don't run and get meals for myself too often. But with all this stuff going on with Etsy, I think it's a good idea um, to treat myself a little bit. So I'm gonna run into Hotheads. It's like a Chipotle knockoff. It's pretty much the same thing as Chipotle, except they have sauces. So if they didn't have the sauces at Hotheads, if it was between there and Chipotle, I probably would pick Chipotle. But because they have the sauce, it really sounds good. So I'm gonna get it um, a chicken burrito bowl with the hothead sauce and the sweet habanero. And it's bomb. It's so good. So gonna run in hotheads, treat myself to some lunch, and I'll catch you guys when we get home. All right, guys, it is like 12:20-ish, technically Saturday morning. Still claiming it is Friday because I've not gone to bed, so it's just still technically Friday for me. Tonight has actually been pretty chill. I left off with you guys after lunch or when I was getting lunch and I did do some work. I got my um, video uploaded and I worked on a couple things like that, editing the vlog, all those things. But also the rest of the night, I kind of just took easy. I thought after all the days I've been working really hard on Etsy, it'd probably be a good idea to just chill out tonight. So I did. I just like hung out, relaxed, watched some TV and just took it easy. So that was cool. Um, but I did work on something tonight, and this is why I'm so excited about my iPad, like, so much. Let me show it to you so guys. So, I prepared, so the night's not all lost. I went through my Etsy invoices remaining. Sorry, that glare. I went through my Etsy invoices remaining, um, the orders that are still remaining, and I came up with this inventory planning sheet, which I absolutely, absolutely love. What I literally did was I just wrote down every item I have in my shop. So like, for example, green wallets. There are four current orders still outstanding. How many do I have left on hand? I have four, which means I need to restock zero. They're already there. Some items like the yellow wallets, you know, there are four currently on orders, but I have six on hand, which means I have two to go towards my next, you know, the next inventory. Then I went ahead and did the watercolor design cards or on the design cards. And this is an example of something being out of stock. Currently, right now, there are 13 wallet orders that are watercolor. So, there are 13 orders, you know, 13 of the wallet cards. I gotta go in the wallets, and I currently only have one left on hand, which means I have to go ahead and make 12 more. So, it's kind of like that. This allows me to see, you know, what I have on hand, what my orders are, and what I still need to do, and I absolutely, absolutely love that. All right, guys, um, I had to switch over to my iPad, so the camera kind of looks a little bit different. I'm not quite sure where the lens is, like what I'm supposed to be staring at. Is it over here? I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. But um, anyways, productive. I'm glad I got that Etsy worksheet done. So tomorrow when I go through and do orders, I'll literally just like now, okay, I need to make this much of this product, this much of this product. Take care of those orders that came in for opening day. Take care of those, and then I'll be able to ship them out. And then once I start getting more orders, I'll just make a new inventory prep sheet based on those new orders. But obviously, kind of first in, first out kind of deal. Those of you who ordered first, your orders are going to take precedence over somebody who orders over the weekend, if that makes sense. Like, I'm going to get the person's order from Thursday out before I get the person's order out from Sunday, if that makes sense. So my main goal now is to not even worry about the other orders, just focus on the ones from Thursday, Friday, get those taken care of this weekend, get those shipped out on Monday, and then um, I'll start a new inventory planning sheet for any orders that come in over the weekend and have those out by Tuesday or Wednesday. So really cool, getting a good flow for the Etsy business. I'm loving it. I know I'm not looking at you guys like straight in the camera. Like I said, I cannot find the lens on this thing. So yeah, my phone, like I said, it died. So I had to adjust on the fly. But yeah, I'm really excited. I think the Etsy shop is great. Totally turning my dreams into reality. And I love it. Hopefully you guys understand why I kind of failed at Vlogtober. I mean, we made it pretty far. I mean, you guys are seeing us on the 30th. So we made it pretty good. I missed a couple of days here and there, but it was a lot of fun. I did enjoy doing Vlogtober. And I can't wait for Vlogmas. Vlogmas is going to be coming up really, really soon. I cannot wait. 
But the daily vlogging is not going to totally stop in November. Expect to see like once a week or whatever, there will be a vlog. Sometimes twice a week if it's interesting. But at least once a week, there will be a vlog pop up. Um, so yeah, those are fun. I love vlogging. It's just that I do it every day. It gets pretty boring. And so when I just do it a couple times a week, I get to pick the days that are actually, you know, worth sharing with you guys. So yeah, but I'm so excited that the Etsy shop is here. It's happening and I want to thank y'all again for the support. You guys are so awesome. And I appreciate you all so much from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for today's vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And thank you so, so much for watching.